Hello and welcome to today's class. In today's class, we'll see the explanation of in-text questions on page 100 of motion chapter of 9th class. So the first question says, an object has moved through a distance. Can it have zero displacement? If yes, support your answer with an example, right? So what the question is saying that if the object has moved through a distance, can it have zero displacement, right? So first we should know what is displacement. So displacement is what is displacement? It is the shortest distance covered by the body okay so it is the shortest distance covered by the body right and what do you mean by shortest distance the shortest distance between any two points right suppose if the object started moving from this place a right it moved in a zigzag path and now it is at this position B, right? And you are asked to find the shortest distance between initial and final position A and B, right? So what you will do? You will draw a straight line, right? So the shortest distance is always the distance between the initial and the final point, right? Now coming back to the question, the question is asking that whether the object can have zero displacement. Okay, so see, suppose an object started moving from this location, this is A, it moved along the circular path, right, and it came back to the same position A, right. So now what is your initial position A, what is your final position A? What is the shortest distance between initial and final position? Zero, right? So that means if the object is moving in circular path, right, it can have zero displacement because you have the same initial and final positions, right? Case two, suppose the object started moving from point A, it moved along a rectangular path and it came back to the same position, right? Again, we can see here that initial and final positions are same. So, again in this case, displacement will be 0. So, what we concluded from this? That if the initial and final positions of the objects are same, then the displacement will be 0. So, if the initial and final positions of the object are same, then the displacement will be how much? 0, right? Moving on to the next question. So the question says, a farmer moves along the boundary of a square field of side 10 meter in 40 seconds. What will be the magnitude of the displacement of the farmer at the end of 2 minutes 20 seconds from his initial position, right? So what is given in the question? Given. square field of side how much 10 meter right time required to complete this distance how much? 40 seconds, right? So, you have a square field of this type, right? 
so suppose this is a b c and d right this distance or length is 10 meter 10 meter all the sides are of 10 meter right and the time required to complete this length is how much from here till here is 40 seconds right time required to complete one round is 40 seconds okay what is asked to find displacement in 140 seconds right so we will see the solution part So now see the solution, what the question says that the farmer completes one round in 40 seconds, right? The total time given to you is how much? 140 seconds, right? So he completes one round in 40 seconds, another round in another 40 seconds, third round in 140, 120 seconds, right? So time to complete 3 rounds is equal to 120 seconds, right? Now, how much time is left? 20 seconds are left. So, in 20 seconds, the farmer will be at this position, right? So, to find the displacement, what we need to do? We need to join these two points right because initially he started from this position and finally now he is at point c right so if we join these two we will get the displacement right so now how to find this length hmm? see this is 10 meter this is 10 meter right this is a right angle triangle we can apply pythagoras theorem right so from right angled triangle ABC, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square, right? So, 10 square plus 10 square is equal to X square right so x is equal to square root of 10 square plus 10 square so x is equal to 10 root 2 we know the value of root 2 as 1.414 so 10 into 1.414 that is 14.14 meter right so this is the displacement right moving on to the next question so the question says which of the following is true for the displacement it cannot be zero right now we have already seen that if the body is moving in a circular path or if the body comes back to the original position from where it started the displacement is zero right so a part the displacement can be zero if the initial and final positions are same right and b what they are asking its magnitude is greater than the distance traveled by the object right now 
see here suppose you are at this position and you moved along this length right suppose this total length is say 40 meter right now if i ask you to find the displacement what you will do you will join initial and final positions right as you can see this ab is smaller than this actual length right now see the next case suppose you are at this position and you traveled the path like this right finally you are at this position right if i ask you the distance so you will say this is the actual path covered by the body right suppose this distance is 10 meter right if i ask you displacement so since displacement is the line joining the initial and final point so in this case displacement also will be 10 meter right so if the body moves in a straight line then distance and displacement have same values right but displacement can never be greater than distance right so the second question which is asked in third part that can the displacement be greater than distance no displacement can never be greater than distance traveled okay so displacement can never be greater than distance traveled okay it can be same as the distance traveled but it cannot be greater than the distance okay it can be same as the distance traveled when moving in a straight line right so that means both these subdivisions a and b are not true okay so i hope you have understood the explanation of all these questions if you have any doubt you ask me in the comment section and i'll clarify all your doubts thank you very much do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel Press the bell icon to get the latest updates on upcoming videos.